What's up guys, this is Brandon from Zen Dude Fitness and today we're gonna do a body breakdown for the man himself, Zach Efron. Thank you so much to my fans. So this guy has gone through quite the fitness transformation from his early days back when he was in the High School Musical to recently when he just came out in the movie Baywatch. He went from really just looking like a little boy to looking like a full on beast. Now before I get into this video, I wanna let everyone know that if you have recommendations for other body breakdowns you want us to do, just drop them in the comments below and if you see one that you already like, upvote it. The most upvoted body breakdown is the one that we're gonna do here on this channel. In addition, if you're new to this channel, we have a free four week challenge where we give you four weeks of jump rope and body weight workouts. We give you a community. If you'd like to join us and do this four week challenge, all you have to do is click the link in the top right hand corner of the screen right now and you're in. Finally, I wanna talk about the structure of this video before getting into it. If you look at Zac Efron and you do a quick Google search and you look at images, there are a lot of different physiques that this guy has had. Today we're gonna to be talking about three specific physiques that Zac has had and how to get each one of those. The first being the one that he had in Charlie St. Cloud or 17 again, where you know he was lean but didn't have a ton of muscle mass on him. Second is the most zen dude-like physique that we're gonna be talking about, and that's one he had in Neighbors. And finally, we're gonna give you the physique that he had recently in Baywatch, where he was a little more jacked than our normal Zendu physique, but we're gonna show you how to get each one of these so you can create the physique that you want. Let's uh, dive into it, shall we? If you wanna look like Zac Efron did in his early days, back in 17 again, Charlie St. Cloud, those types of movies, he was just lean, all right? The guy didn't have a ton of muscle mass, so actually this is the easiest physique to create of the three that we're gonna go through here. First off, to maintain his physique, the guy was just really active. He loved to play sports, he went hiking a lot, he was just constantly burning calories all day long, and it was just a part of his life. So, number one recommendation we have, if you wanna make this whole getting lean and fitness thing a part of your life, start moving consistently. Walk to work, play more sports, just get active during the week and during the weekends. Beyond that, he was working with a trainer that put him on a 3-2-1 fitness regimen. I'm not gonna dive deep into this 3-2-1 workout regimen, but I'm gonna tell you what he was doing in general terms. So five days a week, he was doing this 3 to one workout where he would alternate between slow controlled weightlifting and high intensity interval training. So for example, he might do uh, a set of pull-ups or a bench press where he's doing really controlled, slowed repetition, and then he's going directly to doing something like uh, jump rope. That's an example of a high intensity exercise that you can do. The biggest thing for him was when he did this workout regimen, he was hitting all his major muscle groups and he was just, again, moving his body consistently. What I recommend to make all this stuff way easier, just pop in our four week challenge. I'll link it up here in the top right hand corner for you. It's free and it has jump rope and body weight workouts. So this is the type of workout regimen that you can do to create this first physique that Zac Efron had. We'll talk about the nutrition right now. Zach is a very naturally lean guy, and so for him, he was actually trying to gain a little bit of muscle when he was going after this first physique. But for the majority of us, if we're trying to get to that physique that he had at first, we're not gonna be trying to gain muscle, we're just gonna be trying to get leaner. And for nutrition, you're just gonna want to eat in a calorie deficit. Now, I'll link up our calculator below in the description that'll help you calculate exactly how many calories that you need to be in a deficit, which just means you are eating less calories than you're expending, which means you're going to lose weight. I'll also link up this video in the top right hand corner of the screen again for you, because this video, we go through an actual tutorial teaching you how to calculate your calories and macronutrients, which is gonna be the most important thing for getting lean. So what was Zach eating? Now this is something you're gonna hear through all three physiques. The guy focuses on eating real whole foods, all right, so he eats eggs, oats, fruits, vegetables, he keeps it, as they say, clean. This won't necessarily help you lose weight faster, but it will make it easier to hit your calorie and macronutrient goals, and it's gonna give you the nutrients you need to live your healthiest and most optimized life. In summary, to create this first physique, you just have to focus on getting lean. And for most of us, that's gonna mean eating in a calorie deficit and doing high intensity interval training. So jump rope and bodyweight exercises like we linked to you before, just hitting that hard and getting to a place where you're as lean as he was in that video. And from there, you can focus on possibly moving on to the second or third physique. 
Zac Efron, physique number two. So now we're going after the physique that he had in the movie Neighbors. This is the closest thing that we've seen that he's had to the Zen Dude physique. You're lean, you're hard, you're chiseled, you're athletic, and you just have a very functional body. So for Zach, again, he was a naturally very lean and honestly kind of a scrawny guy. So really here he got more focused on lifting weights consistently to put on the muscle mass to create this physique. He did a three day lifting split. So Monday he was hitting shoulders, back and abs. Wednesday he was hitting shoulders and legs. And Friday he was hitting chest and arms. Now his goal was really to gain strength so he could gain lean muscle mass. And so he was staying in a lower rep range, more in the four to six rep range for his main lifts and his auxiliary lifts, which are lifts more like bicep curls, things of that sort. He was getting into a higher rep range around 10 to 12 repetitions per set. For Zach, he was really focusing on gaining muscle mass, but for many of us, we're really gonna wanna focus on getting lean more than anything else. We also recommend introducing two to three days of high intensity interval training. For example, we always talk about jump ropes, so doing those type of workouts two to three times a week in addition to the weightlifting. Again, the nutrition is gonna be very consistent through all three physiques. When he was trying to gain muscle mass, he was eating in a calorie surplus, which means he was eating more calories than he was expending. So again, we've linked up the calculator in the description below for you, so you can grab that and go calculate your numbers, or just hop in one of our courses, which is gonna teach you this. And finally, when it comes to nutrition, eat whole, real foods. He was eating oats, he was eating lots of fruits and vegetables, lean meats, the types of food that are beneficial for hitting your macros, which means getting the right distribution of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And when you do that, it's gonna make it much easier for you to reach your fitness goals. In closing, for this physique number two, if you wanna look like Zac Efron in Neighbors, understand that it's gonna take consistency more than anything else. You're gonna to have to gain a little more muscle mass and you're gonna to have to really focus on getting lean. Zac Efron, physique number three. Time to talk about this jacked ass dude right here. So for this role, he had a co-star on The Rock, which means he was probably thinking to himself, hey, if I'm gonna be doing this, I gotta put on some serious muscle mass. And the dude committed himself. Over a course of a year, he gained 10 pounds of muscle mass, which takes incredible commitment and is incredibly impressive. 10 pounds of muscle mass is about the most you can expect to get per year. And we recommend that if you want to hit that kind of goal, you make it your number one fitness priority. Hitting back and biceps on Mondays, hitting legs on Wednesdays, and hitting chest, triceps, shoulders, arms, all the rest of those muscles on Fridays, and working in abdominals every other day to build your abdominal density so the abs come through and they're more visible even when you're not quite as lean as you want to be. I'm going to link up an article by Men's Fitness in the description below because they did a good job talking about the exact reps and sets that he used throughout his training regimen. So if you want to do that, that's going to be linked up below. I'll also link you to our Gaining Muscle course where you can check out basically what we do, which is very similar to the structure that he followed in his workout regimen. You guys, I can't stress this enough. The guy committed a year to gain those 10 pounds of muscle mass. So if you want to see those kind of results, you need to commit yourself like he did. One year of lifting weights consistently and dying in his nutrition and for the final 12 weeks to create that physique that you saw in the movie he also did 12 weeks of high intensity interval training workouts as well because we all know if you have a bunch of muscle mass but you're kind of doughy well the physique doesn't look that good you're not going to look like he did in Baywatch so in the beginning that first year his goal was gain muscle so he ate more calories than he was expending he ate the right amount of protein but again in the description the calculator is located there it will help you figure this out he was eating in a calorie surplus for a full year gaining that muscle mass and then for the final 12 weeks he ate in a calorie deficit and really focused on doing everything he could to lose body fat and he went really extreme for the last like nine days where he cut out sugar carbs it sounded really awful, but it did create this shredded, dry looking physique that you can see right here. We don't necessarily recommend that you do this because you don't have a movie role to prepare for, but he did it and so that was his way of making sure he created the exact physique that he wanted right before the shooting started, which is similar to what a lot of bodybuilders do as well. But I imagine you don't necessarily want to be a bodybuilder. Your goals are probably to get somewhere closer to what you saw in physique number two, where he was in Neighbors. That really is the Zendu physique, and that's what we promote over here. Because here's the thing, 
it does take work, but it's not as hard as like gaining enough muscle mass to look like you did in Baywatch. You can stay relatively lean and have a good amount of muscle mass without having to commit your entire life to it like you would if you're a bodybuilder or some kind of fitness professional or someone extremely dedicated to gaining muscle mass. At the end of the day, decide what physique that you want to create and visualize it. See it in your mind and know what you're going after. Have complete clarity on the body that you want and how you want to feel in that body. The more clarity and focus you have on where you're going, the easier it will be to create that body and results. The name of the game is to stay consistent above all else. Move your body consistently. Eat consciously consistently. Understand that your body is just a science equation. So if you put the right inputs in, you're gonna get the results you want. So stay consistent, find ways to enjoy the process, move your body in ways you enjoy, and make sure that this just becomes a normal part of your life. There are no end dates to any of this. Start moving your body, start eating consciously, enjoy the process. If this video is helpful for you, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We do a lot of these body breakdowns and also we have a lot of workouts that are jump rope related, helping you create that lean muscular physique. And one more time guys, all the content in this community is driven by you. So if you have an idea about a physique that you want us to help you create, drop it in the comments below, let us know and we'll do our best to create that content for you.